Scaling blockchain networks is the most important issue of our time, especially now that Ethereum users pay hundreds of dollars in transactions of all sizes. Solving the blockchain trilemma is a hard job, but the endeavor is worthwhile given that it will lead to a sustainable and long-lasting crypto industry. Welcome to the Shrimpy YouTube channel, a place where you can learn all about the disruptive sector of cryptocurrencies and finally start building your blockchain education. I'm your host, Felicia, and in this video, we will explore the meaning of the blockchain trilemma and its importance for the blockchain industry's future. The blockchain trilemma is a concept coined by Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin that proposes a set of three main features that are difficult to simultaneously maintain in a blockchain network. These features include scalability, decentralization, and security. More often than not, creators are forced to sacrifice one for the sake of the other two, which leads to problems for users and developers alike. To better understand the significance of each aspect, we will review them individually. So let's start with one feature that is the hardest to attain, Scalability. scalability is a measure of how efficient blockchain networks are at processing transactions. Rather than a binary feature, scalability is a scale that can at any time reach both ends of the spectrum, depending on the workload at hand. Certain crypto projects boast their amazing speed, listing numbers comparable to that of leading payment processors like Visa and MasterCard. However, rarely any such blockchain is capable of supporting its claimed transaction when serving millions of users. Truth be told, we can't talk about widespread global adoption until we solve the blockchain of scalability. With network congestion causing hundreds of dollars in fees, rarely anyone is willing to use projects like Bitcoin or Ethereum when they are highly inefficient. So why is scalability advantageous? Well, first of all, it enables blockchains to support a higher workload compared to the current standard for public and decentralized networks. Ideally, the project should scale well even under extreme conditions and demand. But with the technology that we have, developers must sacrifice security in order to scale networks. Enterprise blockchain solutions go as far as to switch to permissioned networks that lack decentralization, but provide remarkably high transaction speed. In that sense, scalability is hard to implement without destroying the core ethos of decentralized technology. Decentralization is the easiest feature to implement in a blockchain network. After all, the only thing developers have to do is ensure that no central authority reigns and that there is a sufficient number of nodes powering the network. The great thing about decentralization is that every Everyone shares equal status with other users. No individual has special rights and privileges, and unlike banks, there is no entity that can restrict your freedom or freeze your account. Considering that the feature has proved itself to be a valuable asset in this industry, blockchain technology is continuously being pushed to the forefront of the new technological revolution. But despite the fact that decentralization is nice to have, it does not make up for the fact that developers have to give it up for the sake of improving a blockchain's transaction speed. To achieve peak decentralization, blockchain networks utilize the proof-of-work consensus model. The higher number of nodes, the more decentralized the blockchain is. However, proof-of-work's disadvantages are that it consumes too much power and cannot scale well with a large number of users. Last but not least, we have a feature that is crucial for blockchain networks, security. Without security, malicious activities can disrupt blockchains by manipulating transactions or performing famous exploits like the 51% attack. If the data stored on a ledger can't be immutable and foreign actors can disrupt a system so easily, easily, what is the point of decentralized technology? We might as well go back to banks and other legacy financial institutions. On blockchain networks that feature smart contract functionality, the issue is far worse. Although hackers can't affect the ledger, they can perform exploits with features like flash loans and steal millions of dollars from investors. In this context, security is a vital aspect that we can't leave out. The goal of a secure blockchain is to maintain stability and function if it were decentralized and data cannot be influenced. Luckily, enough, security is not a feature that must be sacrificed for scalability or decentralization. Neither speed nor concentration of power is impacted by the scale of security, which leaves developers with plenty of room to breathe when creating a blockchain. To summarize, security is a fundamental part of modern blockchain systems, without which malicious actors can disrupt networks and manipulate data stored on a ledger. Without it, blockchains would be completely unreliable and useless. The blockchain trilemma is once again an important topic due to the launch of Ethereum 2.0. It appears 
is that Vitalik Buterin not only coined the concept, but created a way to solve it as well. Ethereum 2.0 is a new iteration of the smart contract ecosystem that implements features such as proof of stake, sharding, and side chains. Combined, they can theoretically create a project that is decentralized, scalable, and secure all at the same time. We still have to see how this will turn out in practice given that the full version of Ethereum 2.0 will not launch for at least a year. Developers have not yet implemented sharding and users can't make any transactions, so we can't really see if Ethereum victoriously solved the blockchain trilemma. For now, all hope is placed on the new network and its eventual prosperity. If the Ethereum Foundation does not achieve its vision, investors will have no option other than to pay hundreds of dollars on transaction fees. There are indeed alternative solutions that seek to scale the blockchain industry before Ethereum does, but their prospect of such success is not nearly as bullish. The blockchain trilemma is an important topic for all of the industry's hardworking developers. Projects like Bitcoin and Ethereum have already done so much for the world, but in order to reach a level where millions of people all across the world can use blockchain networks, the trilemma must be solved. While we have cryptocurrency projects that already use POS and sharding, none of them had the chance to prove their strength by serving a truly remarkable user base. For instance, Ethereum is the market's second largest project by market cap, so if Vitalik Buterin can do it, we will finally know once and for all that the blockchain trilemma is no longer an issue. That's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crypto content by clicking the red subscribe button down below. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Shrimpy App and on our website at Shrimpy.io. You can also head to our blog linked in the description box to read the full article on the blockchain trilemma.